Hi everyone. This is our new chapter about polynomials. And to talk about polynomials, we should obviously know what a polynomial is. So the word polynomial actually means many terms. So we're going to be looking at expressions that have many terms. And to talk about them, we need to learn some more, vo more vocabulary words. So the first one is degree. A degree of a polynomial is really its largest exponent. So I'm actually going to start our table somewhere in the middle here. I'm actually going to start on the third one. So let's say that it had a degree of 2. Okay, An example would be x squared. x squared has a degree of 2. That is called a quadratic term. So the term quadratic should be something you're familiar with. That's a type of degree. You should also know what degree 3 is. So x cubed, that's called a cubic. Next, the fourth degree is actually called a quartic. And a fifth degree is called a quintic. Now you notice I started at 2 because sometimes it's not so obvious what the first degree is. So things like 5x, x, negative 6x, those are called linear terms. Right? Algebra 1, you studied lots of linear terms. We even have degree 0. That would be something like the number 3 or 5 or negative 2. Those are called constants. So let's take a look at some examples and see if we can figure out what degree they are. So example A, x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3. The largest exponent would be 3, which makes this a cubic. How about example B? This has a largest exponent of 4. That makes this quartic. How about C? Notice that the exponent on x is really a 1, but we also have an exponent of 2. That's definitely the highest, so this is quadratic. And then our last example, our highest exponent is 3, which makes this one cubic. So we can name these polynomials by their degree, but that's not the only way. We can also name polynomials by the number of terms in each expression. So if there was one term, we would call that a monomial. Mono for one. If it had two terms, that's called a binomial. Think of all the words that start with bi, like bicycle. A bicycle has two wheels. A binomial has two terms. Nomial means term, by the way. Three terms would be a trinomial. If we have more than three, we start to call those polynomials. Poly means many. However, I want to point out that we can call anything in our examples to the right here. We have four of them. I would call any of those polynomials. They all have terms, and poly, most people interpret that as three or more. We could still say one or more could be a polynomial. So let's look at A. How many terms does that have? Well, a term is separated from other terms 
by the plus and minus signs. So this has three terms. It's a trinomial. Let's try example b. x to the fourth is a term. 3x to the fourth and 8x to the fourth, they're all terms. This one's different, though. Notice that they're all like terms. That means I can add them together. 1x to the fourth plus 3x to the fourth plus 8x to the fourth is a total oops, of 12x to the fourth. So notice that I simplified this polynomial before labeling it. That's very important to do. You want to make sure that your polynomial is simplified, that you've added or subtracted all of your like terms before you classify it. So this is really just one term. So that was a tricky one. That's a monomial. How about, oh, it looks like I called this B. Let's just relabel that C. How about x cubed plus 3x? Are those like terms? No, we can't put those together. So we're looking at a binomial. And then in our last example, notice we have two cubic terms. We have two linear terms as well. So let's combine our like terms. We'd get 4x cubed plus 1x plus 1. That would be a trinomial. I, again, I would still call any of these polynomials, even if they didn't have three or more. Let's do some more combining. So writing in standard form means that you start with the highest exponent first, and then you go in descending order. So notice we have x squared and 3x squared. Notice I start with those. That gets me 4x squared. That's our highest exponent. We only have minus 4x and plus 1, so this is simplified. That would be a quadratic, since the highest exponent is 2, trinomial. So we can name it two things. How about example B? I see cubics. That would be its highest exponent, so I'm going to start there. Together, that makes up 5x cubed. Do you see any x squareds? No? Okay. The next thing I would look for would be the linear terms. So 3x, 4x, and negative x. So let's see. Together, 3x and 4x is 7x, minus x is 6x. And then lastly, the minus 4. This is a cubic trinomial. Ah, these are a little bit more complicated. Notice we have a multiplication problem and we have a subtraction problem. So let's take care of the multiplication first. So we would have to do x times x, then x times negative 1, then 1 times x, and 1 times negative 1. And we still are subtracting the x squared, and we're still subtracting the 1. Now it's just a big addition or subtraction problem. Let's combine our like terms. We have x squared minus x squared. So really, those cancel each other out. We have negative 1x plus 1x. So those cancel each other out. And then we have negative 1 minus 1. That makes a total of negative 2. If we were to classify that, that would be a constant monomial. Let's try one more example. Ooh, this actually has a hidden multiplication problem. See this x minus 3 squared? That's really x minus 3 times x minus 3. 
and we have an addition and subtraction problem as well. Again, let's take care of the multiplication first, just like we did in this one over here, right? Following the order of operations. We get x squared minus 3x minus 3x plus 9. We're still adding the 3x squared and subtracting the 1. Okay, it's time for us to combine like terms. We have an x squared and a 3x squared. That makes for a total of 4x squared. Minus 3x, minus 3x, really minus x x. And then plus 9, minus 1, is really plus 8. If I were to classify this, it would be a quadratic trinomial. All right, I think that brings us to some practice for you to try on your own. Good luck.